Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Rodecaster Pro in OBS Studio. You'll be able to use this as a USB audio mixer. So any inputs coming in to the Rodecaster Pro will go in directly to OBS Studio, whether you're live streaming or recording. Now you can use this for gaming, podcasting, pretty much anything you want to do. I personally use it for podcasting and I use it for gaming. Oftentimes, most modern computers will be able to work with this plug and play. You'll be able to connect your Rodecaster Pro via USB once it's powered on and it'll automatically find it as an audio device. But if your computer is having an issue with that, the best thing you might want to do is download and install the Rodecaster Pro software. And then from there, once it's connected, it'll be able to update its drivers. And from there, you can also do firmware updates, etc., change the sound pads, a lot of cool stuff. But if you're having any issues, make sure you download the Rodecaster Pro software and then connect via USB and then you should be good to go. So now we're going to go into OBS Studio and I'll show you how to actually connect it and use it in OBS. So go ahead and launch OBS. Now you can add the Rodecaster Pro as an audio source to any of your current scene collections, but I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new one. So I have a new one that's starting off blank, Rodecaster test for the profile and scene collection Rodecaster test with no source added. So in order to add this as a source, go ahead and click the plus sign and then go to audio input capture. We're going to click on that and then name it whatever you want. I'm going to call this the Rodecaster and then press OK. And then from here, you can go ahead and choose your device and you'll see here that it says Rodecaster Pro Stereo. Select that, press OK. And instantly you'll see if you have any mics connected, to the Rodecaster Pro and the volume levels up, you have an input, it's ready to go. So if you want to actually lower the audio input from the Rodecaster, you can grab the slider and take it down, lower it to where there's no audio coming in or some. My recommendation, always keep that at zero and any of the audio levels that you want adjusted, make those adjustments on the sliders on the Rodecaster Pro device itself. So do your fine tuning on the mixer and then leave the levels for the Rodecaster Pro at zero in OBS. Make sure that you are not going into the red. You want to try to stay a little bit below it or barely going into it. Never let it go towards the zero. If you pass that, that's going to cause clipping and distortion. And really, it's just that simple to use the Rodecaster Pro in OBS Studio. If you guys are interested in getting the Rodecaster Pro or any of the equipment that I use, I have links in the description where you can purchase them from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.